Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRSCI releases fiscal year 2022 annual report highlighting more than 2,550 investigations, 90% conviction rate, enforcement actions focused on tax fraud, money laundering, and cyber crimes. So be good, for goodness sake, or you may end up on this report, as well as on Santa's list. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure which is worse. It's like it's like a double whammy. And I don't know about you, but I don't think I could handle like a single whammy. So I'd certainly like to avoid a double. Let's read on about who the iris is currently whammy in. As we breathe a comforting sigh of relief thinking, wow, sure glad that's not me. Uh, it's like a healthy family trip to the gallows where you're like, holy crap. They just tore that dude's guts out and then showed him to his face. That, that can't be healthy. I think we should take some steps to avoid that. No, th this list is way worse than Santa's. Anyways, first to joke. After the president's historic interview with a growing man who transitioned into a little girl 90 days ago to sell a whole lot of makeup on TikTok, the president has transitioned his entire approach to creating legislation. Central manufacturing, outstanding. Outstanding. You're not gonna tell me I have too much experience, are you? Certainly not, you're perfect for the job. Great. Except- Can you be a minority woman in order to get the job? No, no exceptions. I want this job, I need it, I can do it. Everywhere I've been today, there's always been something wrong. Too young, too old, too short, too tall. Whatever the exception is, I can fix it. I can be older, I can be taller, I can be anything. Can you be a minority woman? One bold man answers, yes he can. The president has realized that transitioning everything, that's the key. Your name's Lebowski, Lebowski. Your wife is Bunny. My, wa my wife, Bunny? You see a wedding ring on my finger? Does this place look like I'm f***ing married? The toilet seat's up, man. For example, he has now transitioned an inflationary spending bill into an inflation reduction bill. What the f*** is this? Obviously, you're not a golfer. Yeah, just by changing the name. I need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for as demonstrated by the Inflation Reduction Act. What has that got to do with it? Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Rumor has it that the Inflation Reduction Act is gonna start its own TikTok account to fight back against the haters. I'm inflation reducing, dang it, says the new TikTok account. Can't you see the dress I put on and the pronouns in my bio? I find your lack of faith disturbing. I mean, honestly, I have clearly listed my TikTok pronouns as inflation reduction. And inflation reduction is how I demand to be addressed. If once you start down the dark path, for Earth will dominate your destiny, the doom you it will. And if you don't refer to me as such, you, sir, are an incel bigot. Whatever that is. I don't even know anymore, but what that's what you are. Just like that. Our inflation problem is solved. And I say we fight back! Yeah. 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 Are you with me, yay or nay? Which one means yes? Yay. Yeah. Or if not solved, unaddressed. Or possibly not unaddressed, but rather in address and outlawed from discussion. It's just occurred to me we really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. I blame myself. So do I. Well, no sense worrying about it now. Which is basically the same thing, right? Why worry? Each of us is wearing an unlicensed nuclear accelerator on his back. Yep. Now let's get ready. Switch me on. <laughs> I 
IR 2022-194, November 3rd, 2022, Washington. In fiscal year 2022, IRS criminal investigation initiated more than 2,550 criminal investigations, identified over $31 billion from tax and financial crimes, and obtained a 90.6% conviction rate on cases accepted for prosecution. Are you bragging over there, IRS? This sounds kind of like kind of like bragging, but that, that's okay. Whatever. The IRSCI Fiscal Year 22 Annual Report, there's a link to that here, released Thursday, details these statistics as well as important partnerships and significant criminal enforcement actions from the past fiscal year, which began October 1st, 2021 and ended September 30th, 2022. Quote, the cases the IRSCI team investigated over the past fiscal year touch multiple continents and require cooperation with partners around the globe. This is why IRSCI continues to submit itself as the preeminent law enforcement agency investigating financial crimes on a global scale, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. In fiscal year 22, IRSCI expanded partnerships with foreign counterparts to help combat tax and financial crimes on a global level. IRSCI special agents deliver training in countries like Argentina, Germany, Colombia, and Palua on topics ranging from cybercrime to human trafficking. IRSCI Mexico City, after changes to Mexico law that enabled the extraction of tax fugitives, launched an initiative to identify fugitives who had absconded to Mexico and nearby countries. This initiative resulted in the location of 79 criminal fugitives and ap apprehension of eight during the first year. There's a link to that here. IRSCI joined task force Klepto Capture, there's a link to that here, in March 2022 to target Russian oligarchs and other sanctions evaders. It also works with the Chiefs of Global Tax Enforcement, J5, there's a link to that here, to identify potential sanction evaders or sanctioned assets as part of a global strategy to deter Russia's aggression. As of September 2022, the agency had identified nearly 50 individuals and entities for potential sanctions related enforcement. IRSCI's two, uh, 2077 special agents spent about 70% of their time investigating tax related crimes like tax evasion and tax fraud during fiscal year 22, while nearly 30% of their time was spent on money laundering and drug trafficking cases. Special agents identified over $31 billion from tax and financial crimes, and the agency seized assets valued at approximately $7 billion in fiscal year 22. IRSCI is the only U.S. federal law enforcement agency that focuses 100% on financial investigation. Quote, our team follows the money, end quote. That's good policy. Good policy, I have to say right there. Said IRSCI Chief, uh, Chief Jim Lee, quote, We've been doing it for more than 100 years, and we've followed criminals into the dark web and now into the metasphere. Uh, tax and other financial crimes know no borders. If you violate the law and end up in the crosshairs of an IRSCI special agent, you are likely going to jail, end quote. Nice kind of cop, cop line, cop rant right there. That's good. That, that belongs in a movie right there. So case examples include the IRSCI Cybercrime Unit with assistance from U.S. authorities traced billions of dollars of Bitcoin stolen from Bitfinex a cryptocurrency exchange after a 2016 hack. This led to the February 2022 arrest of Alea Lachtenstein uh, and his wife, Heather Morgan. I'm probably butchering these names, but it is what it is. You can read it for yourself. Check the names if you're interested. For alleged conspiracy to, to launder stolen cryptocurrency, IRSCI special agent lawfully seized and recovered more than 94,000 stolen Bitcoin, which was valued at over $3.6 billion at the time, marking the largest seizure in U.S. history. The Tampa field office investigated Michael Dexter uh, Little, 
uh, for tax related crimes. He was sentenced to 19 years and six months in federal prison in January 2022 for conspire conspiracy to commit wire fraud, conspiracy to commit money laundering and aggravated identity theft. So Little has Little also has uh, to forfeit at least $12.3 million traceable to his offenses. He filed a series of false tax returns claiming massive bogus fuel tax credits. He filed the false returns in his own name and the names of co-conspirators as well as identity theft victims. He obtained at least $12.3 million in fraudulent tax refunds and attempted to obtain at least $27 million more. Little and his co-conspirators used scheme, used scheme proceeds to purchase real estate and other assets for themselves. It's just, it's, it's just crazy how, how aggressive some of these people can, can be. You know, you, you think it's just like, wow. So the Oakland field office investigated Jeff and Palette Karpoff for running, and I probably butchered that name, but a billion dollar fraud scheme centered around DC Solar. Investors who duped into investing in DC Solar uh, based a fake financial and engineering reports and the money was used to fund the Karpoff's live, uh, lavish lifestyle, which included a, a NASCAR uh, sponsorship, ownership of a minor league baseball team, luxury real estate, and more. The federal government seized and auctioned off 148 of the Karpoff's vehicles and recouped more than $80 million for scheme victims. In November 2021, Jeff Karpoff was sentenced to 30 years in prison, and in June, Palette Karpoff was sentenced to 11 years in prison. So that's an interesting one because uh, it had the DC solar, it's getting into the solar stuff, which I think is being kind of incentivized to some degree by the government as well. I'm wondering if that makes it easier for these kind of, you know, these kind of schemes or scams and whatnot. But in any case, the report also includes additional case examples for each U.S. field office and overview of IRSCI's international footprint, details about the specialized uh, services provided by IRSCI and investigative statistics broken down by discipline for fiscal year 22. IRSCI is the criminal investigative arm of the IRS responsible for conducting financial crime investigations, including tax fraud, uh, narcotics trafficking, money laundering, public corruption, healthcare fraud, identity theft, and more. IRSCI special agents are the only federal law enforcement agents with investigative jurisdiction over violations of the Internal Revenue Code, boasting a near 90% federal conviction rate. The agency has 20 field offices located across the U.S. and 12 attache posts abroad. So more information about them, obviously very important these days, this kind of law enforcement process due to the cyber kind of nature uh, of things following the money is clearly a, a way to, to get to the bottom of stuff typically. So in any case, more information if you're interested on, on this stuff is at the IRS criminal investigation uh, by the numbers 2022 annual report video. There's a video of it. There's a link to that here. There's a link to the report, I believe, up top. You can dig into it more uh, if you so choose there and see what the see what the latest criminals and, and the people that are trying to catch the criminals are doing at this time. And there'll be a link to this in the description.